So what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Char. So Fleet 5 is all about aircraft zones. So for aircraft zoning, we use this for larger wide body aircraft like this, for example, and a commercial wide body aircraft like Airbus and Boeing. So aircraft zones are used to specify which area of the aircraft has a damage in a blueprint. So we have eight zones. Zone 100 is the lower fuselage, which is this part. 200 is the upper fuselage. 300 is the empennage or the tail. 400 are the engines or the power plant. 500 is the left wing. 600 is the right wing. 700 are the landing gears. And 800 are the doors. So, since this is a large aircraft, uh, and even if it's divided by zones, Still, the zones are very large. For example, for the fuselage, if the damage is specified as it is in the zone of the upper fuselage, if you can see, this is still a very big area. So, to make the work of mechanics a lot more easier, we are going to use what we call task cards. So, task cards are used. In this particular... Uh, blueprint reading we're going to use two task cards because for the task card one we're going to indicate which zone it is so for task card one we have the error code reading and description and to specify where in that particular zone specifically is the damage we're going to use a, another task card for more specificity so ginagamit yan para mas madaling hanapin ng mekaniko yung error in that particular zone. So, for example, ang task card 1 kasi isang figure lang ang ginagamit natin, which is this figure. So, task card 1 always, this is the figure that we're going to use no matter what problem it is. So, for example, on your task card 1, the graph is like this. So, as you can see, the shaded part is the lower fused lodge. So, you're going to put the error code as the zone. So, Z dash, what zone it is the lower fuselage? It's 100. So, Z dash 100. And then, for the reading, we're just going to indicate that the code error is located at Z dash 100. And then, for the description, this is where we're going to specify what zone it is. So, for the description, we're just going to indicate that the code error is located at the lower fuselage. So that's it for the task card 1. So we're just going to use this figure as we go on for the first task card. The second, the second task card is where we vary. So since the task card one is in the lower fuselage, we are going to get a right side view of the airplane. So we can see both the two zones, the upper fuselage and the lower fuselage. Now in the lower fuselage, we have what we call uh, cargo doors. So this is, where, this is the whole cargo compartment. So, dyan nilalagay yung mga damage, cargo, um, and other baggages. So, we have one, two, three, three doors. So, the first door, this one, that one is what we call as the forward cargo door. This is the forward cargo door. This one is the aft cargo door. And this one is the bulk cargo door. So, this is forward this aft, and this is the bulk cargo door. So, for example, this one is shaded. So, that is where the damage is. We're just going to indicate on the second task card. So, for TC2, the, it's a door. So, the error code will be Z-800. So, since it's a cargo door again, the error code will be Z-800 because the zone 800 is for doors. And then just repeat the reading. The code error is located at 
z-800. And then for the description, we're just going to indicate which cargo door in the lower fuselage is the damage. So just put that the code error is located at the aft cargo door. That's it. So that's an example of a damage in a aircraft zone. So another example Let's go back to task card 1. So this is the figure for task card 1. For example, the damage is at the wings. So for example, we have the left wing. This part is shaded. So for task card 1, we're just going to indicate the error code is at Z dash. The left wing, or as you can see in the figure, it has a number. So Z dash 500. If it doesn't include this label, you should think that you are facing the aircraft. So the left wing is on your right and the right wing is on your left side. So it's Z dash 500 for the left wing. For the reading, Z dash, ah, oh, sorry. The code error is located at Z dash 500. And then for the description, the code error is located at the left wing. So we're done with task card 1. And then for the wings, we have a different task card 2 figure. It's, of course, we couldn't see the wings on the first example that I gave you. So we're going to use this one, this figure. This is a figure for a wing. So both left and right wing, this is going to be the figure that you're going to use. So let me just erase that. So for the wings, if you can see there are different numbers, three digit numbers. So we have, for example, this is 570 and 870. If you can see clearly, sorry, that's 670. And then this is 510, 610. So for a wing, for example, this part 570, this just indicates that this is on the left wing. If it's 670, it means that it is on the right wing. The first digit indicates in what wing is the damage. For example, we're going to delete. Since our task card 1 is at the left wing, so we're going to delete that 670. I'm just going to use 570. For example, this part is shaded. And then this one, 510, this whole 510. So for example, we have damages on both 510 and 570. So for task card 2, our error code will be Z-510 and then Z-570. For the reading, the code error is located at Z-510 and Z-570. And then for the description, this is what we're going to write. The code error is located at we call every part of the air of the aircraft wing as panels so since there's are three digits for example what i said this is 510 this indicates in what wing 
is the damage. So in this case, it's the left wing. And then this, the last two digits are the panel number. So we're just going to put the panel number first. So the description will be the code error is located. Oh, sorry. The code errors are the code errors are located at panel. Again, we call this these are panels. So it's panel ten and panel seventy on the aircraft's left wing. So this is the whole description. The code errors are located at panel 10 and panel 70 on the aircraft's left wing. So that is an example of an error on the wing. So for the right wing, the difference is that the numbers will start at number 6, of course. It's zone 600 for the right wing. So the last example will be on the aircraft's empennage. So this is the figure that we're going to use, but it's almost the same as the aircraft wings because these are also called panels. So for task card 1, the shaded part will be this one. So the shaded part are the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers. So for task card 1, it's going to be Z dash. The error code is Z dash. 300 for the empennage. The reading will be the code error is located at Z-300 and for the dis the description it's going to be indicated as the code error is located at the aircraft's empennage. So that is for task card 1. So for task card 2 again this is the figure that we're going to use. This one. This is the empennage. So for the empennage, if you can't see, we have three numbers and two letters for each panel. So for example, the ones with the damages are this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and one more. This one. Okay. So, the shaded uh, panels are 322AL, 322BL, 324AT, and then 325EL, and 325BL. So, how are we going to indicate this one? So, for the code errors, we're just going to, or the error code, we're just going to uh, alphabetize this one by looking at the last letter first. So this letter T is going last. So we're going to put L first. And then to know which one will go, kung ano yung mauuna, yun yung mas maliit yung number. Never mind first the letter sa Unang, yung unang letter. So, yung unang number. So, sa L, ha? So, yung numbers. So, it's going to be Z-322. And then, alphabetize this one. AL first. And then, Z-322BL. The next will be Z-325BL. This BL, this EL. So, next is z 325 EL. And of course, last is one with the T. Z-32480. So, these are the error codes. Next, for the reading, I'll just need to do is to repeat the ones on the error code. So, lalagay nyo lang. The code errors are located at Z-322 AL, comma, Z-322 BL, comma, Z-325 BL, comma, Z-325 EL and Z-324 AT. Now, for the, des the description, if you can see, this is the zone. 
number. So, the 3 only indicates the zone number. The next 2 digits indicate the panel number. Okay. The L here signifies it is on the left side of the empennage. And the T signifies it's on the top part of the empennage. Because we have the left part and the right part of the empennage. So, it's left and then this is top. And then this, the letters indicate the order of the panel. A, first, B, second, and so on. C is third, and so on, and so on. So E will be fifth, and then first, second, second, there. So for the, des the description, we're going to indicate the code errors are located at, so let me write that down, the code errors are located at, of course, first, this is panel, oh, sorry. This is going to be, since it's letter A, it's going to be first panel, no, and then the panel number, 22, first panel, 22, and then we have BL, so it's second panel, 22, and then we have BL, so it's second panel, 25, and then EL, it's second, ah, uh, sorry, fifth, fifth panel, 25, on the left part of the empennage, on the left part first, para din ulit ulit pala, and so, the last part will be first panel 24 on the top of the empennage. So, again, just to repeat, we're going to indicate the order of the panel first. So, A first, B second, and so on. And then, the panel number. And then, you're just going to indicate all those on the left first. So, uh, A, L, B, L, B, L, E, L, panel 22, 22, 25, 25. And then, last is going to be the one at the top of the Empenage. So that's it for the aircraft zones. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Char. So I'm going to give you exercises and examples on a document so that you can study it more. Thanks! Goodbye!